Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to part three of this epic unboxing that I'm currently going through with a bunch of stuff that came in from Jared. So we're gonna do, there are three knives left. This is part three, it's the last one. Jared has managed to do it pretty evenly that I wind up able to do three videos of three knives per, I think there was one that had four. So guys, go follow Jared if you don't already because this content would not exist if he had not sent this stuff. I, I could not get the amount of stuff in to do these videos if it wasn't for Jared. So go give him, definitely go give him a follow and, and some and some love. So guys, uh, you guys know what time it is. We can turn around. We're gonna get three interesting knives that Jared has sent along. I have not looked at any of them yet, except I do know that one of them is that little custom fixed blade I need. So without any further ado, turn down the volume because we're gonna turn this around right after you guys listen to a little bit of music. <laughs> This is part three. These are the last three knives of that last box that Jared just sent me. I don't know what's in these two. This is something kind of special. We're going to save this one for last. I do know what this is. I've been talking with the maker. So this is something interesting. You're going to see a couple different videos involving this. So let's go ahead and just out of curiosity, we'll do the middle one. I always do the middle one. I'm curious to see what's in this concept case. Concept, for those of you guys that get upset that I'm saying it incorrectly, if you're gonna spell something K-A-N-S-E-P-T, I'm gonna spell it, I'm gonna say it like it's spelled. Concept, concept. If you wanted to make that a soft A, you should have delineated that somehow. So, all right, now let's get this done before I have to take my daughter to shul. Let's go ahead and break into this. So this is a concept case and it does in fact have a concept in it. Um, this is, let's see here, the concept. I say cancept because like I said, if you're gonna spell it that way, I'm gonna pronounce it that way. Um, this is the cancept bulldozer. I don't see a steel listed on it. Front flipper only, blue G10, black G10 backspacer, steel liners looks like, let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have a lot of nice things to say about this, guys. I can already tell. So, oh, there you go. D2 steel. Uh, it does have a very attractive, very well done stone wash on it. Um, it's fairly thin. It's just not, this is another one of those knives. It's just not, kind of, this reminds me of that blue O knife that we opened yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging this. Uh, it is a little skinny. Pocket Clip's really proud. It's not a hot spot, but Pocket Clip is really proud. It has a nice shaped blade, but the handle for me is really thin. If I'm gonna have a big, broad blade like this, I want something that fills my hand a little bit better. Something that would come to mind with a big, broad blade like this would be the Artisan Mastiff. Big handle, big blade. Um, they've managed to put a pretty big blade in a smaller package. Um, pretty broad blade. It's not going to be as much of a pocket hog, but in something like this, I'm not going to care. Um, I Yeah, this without thumb studs, this would be something that if I was going to own it and carry it, it would have to have some add-on thumb studs or something. And I just, guys, you're never going to see me really, I like the idea of them. Cole has them on some of his knives. Um, for me to go purchase something to make a knife work for me is kind of out of the scope of what I would do. There's probably some people that just really love this knife. I'm not saying it's probably not a good knife. We'll give it a shot and give it some cutting, but I'm going to tell you right now, at first blush, this is not one I'm going to enjoy as much as the others. With that really skinny handle, I, I'm like, it just feels like I have to hold it so much tighter and then I'm going to get fatigue. If you don't have to squeeze in as far, your muscles don't have to work as much. I would like a much thicker, broader handle on this to, to get, get a hold of. Um, the nice thing is, though, it's got a really clean look because it doesn't have a flipper tab. But putting a thumb stud on that would definitely make it. That's just almost natural that you would want a thumb stud with that. When you give me a front flipper that has no other uh, means of, you know, it's front flipper, top flipper, with no other means of deployment, I'm immediately going to not like it. Uh, and I honestly, we might not even wind up doing a review of this. We may do a first day in pockets and then not do a final review. I don't know yet. Um, I think it will cut well, but I just think that it's going to feel awkward in the cut. 
The blade is nice and thin though. So I don't know, guys. We'll do a first day and carry. I'm not I'm not digging this one. This was a this is there's a couple knives in this set that Jared said that sent, but I'm not really digging. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the way and look at the next one. Is there a Civivi in this Civivi case? I don't know. Let's take a look. I don't think there is. This is the CMB made knives night. So what Jared said, that's okay. You got my attention. That is, that's a good looking knife. Um, marble carbon fiber, titanium, titanium pocket clip. Let's take a look at the blade. Okay, I dig that. That's CMB made knives. I've never even heard of that brand. Guys, that's comfortable. Okay, this is a winner. This is a winner already. That's attractive. It does not have a reverse flick, though. I can, can I? I can't get on that. That's too... Yeah, it's too tight. Uh, action's really cool. This is good looking. I don't know. It's M390. I've never heard of CMB made knives. Um, obviously, ceramic, uh, ceramic detent ball. Um, probably PVD coated blade and... PVD coated blade and hardware. I would assume, I don't know yet. I haven't looked it up. I will definitely have to get the info on it. That's an attractive knife. I dig that blade shape. In hand, pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. So, you know, first impressions, I just pulled it out. We're just looking at it. This will get some pocket time and some actual use and we'll talk about it. I don't know what the edge situation looks like. It's fairly sharp. I don't think I'll have to immediately sharpen it. So I'll do some cut testing and stuff. It's obvious that Jared already has used this for some cutting. Um, so I'll find out some info on that. Attractive look, nice kind of a light sky blue anno and stone washed titanium handles. I would love it if this was DLC. I don't know. That would be great if like a, a saddle, uh, like a, a subtle sa uh, matte DLC on this. Uh, nice big backspa backspacer. No detent hole on this. This is a good looking knife. Um, there's some jimping and everything. on. That's a good looking knife. Um, this might be one of the ones. Oh, that action is good. It's not. Is it drop shut? Just shy of drop shut. But it's smooth. There's like... Drop shut and smooth are not necessarily synonyms. Uh, I've had knives that are really gritty feeling that are drop shut, and I've had knives that are really smooth like this that are just that hydraulic, but not quite drop shut. That's nice. Um, you can just barely feel those inlays, and that carbon fiber is done really well. You can see it almost has some depth to it. Um, you can't see it as well in the light, but you can, in, in this lighting, and you can't see it as well on camera, but it's definitely got some some depth and dimensions to it, but it's just really well smoothed out. Yeah, nice pocket clip, it's not too tall. Um, can barely feel, I like this. That's a, that's a winner right there. All right, that's number two out of the way. Let's go ahead and move this and get into the next one. I'm, I would stay looking at this one a little bit longer, but we got other stuff, we got one more to look at, and then we're done. So this is a unique little knife. This is a handmade custom fixed blade uh, Pical. So I was excited to get this in. I've never had a Pical. I've never taken any martial arts that you would use a Pical. I have taken martial arts and I, I you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in self-defense. Um, but this would not be a knife that I had ever had. And this is something I'm looking for. This is going to go in pocket right as soon as we get done with this, because I have a video I want to do and talk about self-defense stuff. I kind of primed it with a short, letting everybody know it was coming. This is something I was really interested in. Um, my buddy Jake Ginsberg uh, over there at Jacob Creates, um, he makes a Pical. This is really, really comfortable. That's like intuitive. Like it just falls into your hand. That is nice. I want to know how it carries in pocket. So this is something that was going to go in right front pocket yeah just in and out oh that is like that you just reach out and grab that is something you're going to have a really good grip on yeah that's cool um steel city i believe yeah steel city steel city cutlery 
Um, I have talked to the guy that uh, made this. I was talking to him. Now, it is kind of coarse and kind of crude, but it's a handmade custom. Um, the handles are done really well. It's up to and touching, and the handle is comfortable. That little teardrop shape. Yeah, that just sits in your hand. Okay, having never carried one or anything like that, I can see now why they're so comfortable. That reverse right there, like that is wrong. I'm like, why does that feel wrong? Then I flip it around, perfect. That just sits, just perfect. That is simple, simple, intuitive self-defense tool right there. That is, this is not your average like EDC. You're not gonna use this for cutting open boxes. This has one express purpose right there, right there. That's the only way that feels good in hand. I was like, could you use this? Like, could you? No, it really doesn't fit. You're gonna slide up and over. When you get it in your hand the right, correct way, just makes sense. Just 100% makes sense. Um, this is absolutely a very good line. The sheath on this, pretty good sheath. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good sheath. Nice retention, no rattle. Ulti clip. I actually ordered one of these um, the other day, and it should be here soon. I ordered a Slim 3.3, just like this. So, yeah, this is something that's going to go, like, you got a, that's basically a pocket clip. You can lock it in. It's not a spring clip. That's tight. Thought out. That's going to lock down. You're not going to have to worry about that sliding in and out. This is going to be fun. I'm putting this in my pocket right now. You may get a first day in pockets on this very, very soon. Um, even the hidden pins, you can just barely see. Like when I first looked at this, I was, I was going to mention it and I didn't want to say anything because, you know, I don't want to say anything about another maker's stuff before I've actually really carried it or anything. And I'm like, you know, I wonder if those are just epoxied on. No, he used G10 pins. So the G10 pins go through and then they're just ground down. You can just barely see them. If I hadn't had these lights on, you wouldn't be able to see them at all. And you can't see them if, if you don't turn it and catch those facets. So yeah, that's surprisingly, surprisingly light. And the weight is in just the right spot. It's in the palm of your hand, so you know where it's at. So you've got it. Little that is that is uh okay, I get why these are popular with self-defense guys. I get why I get why my buddy over on Instagram um has one of these, uh the Emerson ones. I'm not a fan of the Emerson eyes, but I guess that the El Elvira, I guess is what it is. They are really popular. This, I get it. I get this. You guys are gonna get a, see a video about this really soon. You're gonna probably see a couple videos about this. I like this. So, all right, guys, not to make this video take any longer. I can stay here all day and talk about stuff, but let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Is that it on this one? I really, really like this CMB Knives Night. This is good. This is nice. I could have talked about it longer. It's probably gonna wind up in my pocket real fast. So um, yeah, but that's it on this one, guys. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. But if you do hit the bell icon, make sure that you turn on notifications on your device. So you won't get notified of these sometimes three things that go up a day. Um, guys, I am a fully self-sponsored channel, so if you wanna support the channel financially, there's a handful of ways you can do it. I have membership down below, it's tier-based. Pick the tier that works best for you, but everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. Everyone saves $5 off my sharpening service. I know I said that once before, but they also have access to my Gilded server. Other ways you can do it, the biggest way, I have a bunch of affiliate links. A lot of the stuff that you see on this channel can be, afford, can be purchased at Blade HQ, or some of the other purchased areas down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it definitely supports the channel. The final way is I have a merchandise store at Ember Shirt Co. I've set up a coupon code that saves you money, saves you 10% anywhere at Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp. All in work, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, saves you 10% at checkout. If you purchase my merchandise and send me pictures of you wearing it, I will put them in the videos. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.